I did spend the last two years working as a digital strategist and in particular for the last 10 months I was the project manager for um, a flagship project in e-commerce for a big group. My only first challenge, uh, real challenge, was to be able to uh, communicate effectively with the, with the IT team. I've been working in advertising as, for a little while, um, particularly in the visual storytelling side of things, and I think that technology is something that's going to play more of an important part in that. It's something I've always been interested in myself, and I think regardless of what becomes the norm in the future, this is going to be a big part of it. So I used to work as a Hyperion consultant and I decided to, uh, to quit my job because I needed to learn something more, something new and also something maybe more modern than Oracle Big Machine. Even though I have a computer science background, um, I, was, I opened a, a few retail businesses and I got out of the computer world and I decided to go back. After the launch of the project uh, in France, I started searching for training boot camps in coding and I wanted to be able to put my hands on it. So that's how I, I found Le Wagon. I think the, the biggest challenge in the nine weeks and being here every day is just making sure what you learn each day stays in your head. And, you know, it's quite easy to realize the next day um, what you did yesterday you've already forgotten a little bit of. Coding is hard. <laughs> um, it's unusual. As a science, it's very unusual because it looks, uh, it looks logical. Um, I also have a math background, but it's not that logical, in fact. Uh, a lot of things you realize that the machine uh, is uh, not as sophisticated as a human brain, uh, yet you have to be able to, to guide it to um, make sure that it's responding the way you want it to respond. It's a technical frustration and it's also something that you're learning and it takes time for you to learn it well and to just digest it and be able to reuse it. So it's frustrating because we want to go faster, we have a project and we want to build it, but it takes time to learn something. The part that I enjoyed the most was, uh, I think, to see a program work um, when you've uh, tried to figure out uh, some errors in lines of code for hours. Uh, direct result is really exciting, I think. I think the, the, the most fun part has been just learning stuff every day and it feels really rewarding to actually learn something new and also be able to see. Uh, you know, visually what you have done. I did not expect that I would have such a strong will to like actually uh, reach something and do a good project and stuff. There's nobody behind me like pushing me or something. It's just like my own will to, to get something done. And I was uh, not expecting that. But it's also our community. Like we all want to reach something and achieve something. And um, it's, yeah. It's a nice and engaging community. The part I enjoyed the most of this experience, uh, I think it's being with other people in my situation. So people that for some reason quit their job and wanted to do something different from what they were doing before. And they took that risk and they decided to learn something completely new for them. And it feels good to be with the same kind of people and uh, taking, uh, taking all together this challenge and so I don't feel alone doing this and that's what I really appreciate about the Le Vagon experience. In fact the people it's key because uh, with their own experiences, with their own uh, approach to life, business, a lot of things, uh, we manage to exchange a lot of ideas, we manage to question a lot of, uh, of things we, we bring ourselves and it's rich and it's diverse, I like it a, a lot. I got an insight into a field I was very not familiar with and I think knowing how to code at least the basic stuff it's, um, it's good for my future to just understand any technological development, anything that's happening in our world. I guess uh, the first, the, apart from the coding, what I take from this course is uh, the approach and the methodology. 
the idea that yes, you uh, you have to uh, uh, start little, kind of with a little knowledge, try it out, and you're for sure gonna have to face challenges, mistakes, debugging, and then be patient and and try to break this down again to to make it work. On top of learning all these technical skills, Le Wagon helps us learn how to work with people from different cultures. Uh, because sometimes it's not easy when you're working in France, you're working with French people, but you learn to work with um, different culture when you start working abroad. So being in Barcelona with people from all over the world helps us do that. Help us improve our English, help us also understand that coding is not a pure science. We have different ways to do it and it's um, respect everybody's work and also work in a collaborative way. So I think it's a good way to learn that as well. What I've just uh, done here for the latest nine weeks, um, I'm convinced will help me in the future on a, on a professional aspect uh, because uh, I'm going to be able to understand more people that I work with, uh, business models and uh, how everything's like done of what I see in the, on the web. Well, if you're thinking about doing a boot camp, be aware what a boot camp is. It's very intense in anything that you would learn at that time. Um, so be prepared to not do too much uh, besides being involved in the boot camp. The ad very basic advice would be uh, do it. And second advice would be uh, do it with an open mind. Um, I think we all come from with uh, some expectations. Some people come with the idea that they want to be absolutely full stack developer at the end. Um, and we have to accept uh, that it's a journey. It's a it's big and it's large. Uh, the concepts are are maybe sometimes tricky, complicated. Some some others are simpler. Um, no, it's it's an adventure, and I think uh, it's it's time. There is no intellectual barrier. Uh, you just need motivation and um, being ready to spend a lot of time uh, on your computer. It's uh, really a good way to, to, to start and to, to know how to, to learn what you really want to do in code after that. It's not finished after nine weeks and you, you're entering a, a whole new world, if I can say that. Now, Barcelona is amazing because it's cosmopolitan, it's close to the beach, uh, uh, you get to experience the, a new start, a startup, uh, a vibrant scene, I have to say, that's cool. It's a nice livable city, I bought a bike, it's super easy to get around, um, it's, it's affordable, especially when you're taking some time out to do stuff like this, and yeah, beaches, people, lots of stuff to do, it's good. The simplicity of life, the quality of life you're having here, uh, a lot of fun, obviously, and uh, it's a really good a uh, place to also learn to code as the co-working space and the dynamic of startups here is really good. You spend the whole day in front of your computer so you just want one thing is to go outside and see the sun and so Barcelona is the best city to do that. Food is excellent and the culture the, is just a great place to be. To go on runs in the morning at the beach and just like um, have a good environment for uh, that boot camp. There's uh, plenty of events going on through the week and the weekend, and I think it's just a great place to be. Uh, I think there are lots of investors here, lots of uh, entrepreneurs, and it's, I, I think just the city uh, brings out the best in everybody, so I really like it. I'm proud. I'm proud of myself because I can build things that I was not able to build before, and I'm getting excited because I can see projects that I can work on and I can actually create with my two hands now. So I'm excited and I'm proud. How am I feeling right now? Uh, I'd say excited. I feel excited about my future uh, after Le Vagon. I feel like it's been, you know, there's plenty of opportunities out there. Even though everything's not exactly written in stone, um, I'm, I'm pretty confident it's going to be uh, it's going to be thrilling. Yeah.